back to Africa and I should be deported. Free speech, supposedly. I was born in this country, but your viewers often tell me I should be deported. And I'm speaking directly to you, Nana, now. Not to GB News and not to Patrick. But no matter how many, no matter how many wigs you wear, no matter how many um, oh, times you throw your fellow black women under the bus, as you did on the yeah. show the other day, you well, will never, you. just like myself, be more My than a talking black monkey. Women. I know any of these women. I don't represent any community of people. I represent Nana a queer. I'll be judged by the content of my character, not the colour of my skin, and definitely not by you. And as for being called names, I, I get called loads oh, of I... names. Let me finish Munich. because you've spent time talking and I've listened. Happily see you deported as they would see me deported, Nana. That's the who, truth. Who? Who are they? No how much who you are dance they? For them, who are they? they who are the racists they? Racists who abuse me online every time I appear on this show. So the black female who just got triggered goes by the name Nana Akuya. The black man who spoke the truth about where she stands in other communities goes by the name Femi Nyalanda. Now, if I pronounce the name wrong, please forgive me. Although, I wanted to talk about how black females are being used as pawns in a chess game. But before I get into that, I wanted us to dive into Nana Akuya's mind a little more to see what she really thinks of herself and her own people. Your views would not be viewed particularly favourably, potentially, amongst the, I'm generalising here, but wider black community or BLM supporting black community, I suppose. Why is that? Well, because I've called it out, haven't I? I've looked at it and said, look, um, there's very little that a black person can't do that a white person can do. In fact, I can't think of anything. Um, and a lot of these movements are actually, to me, they're quite backward movements because you're asking to go back to almost a form of apartheid where you're separating people based on the colour of their skin and then you're privileging or not privileging. And I think it's, it's divisive because it's upsetting for a lot of white people who will see that and don't see it this way. And it's divisive for people who aren't of the race that you're saying the life matter, the life matters. And for me, seeing that, I, I, I'll be honest, I face more racism from black people than I than I ever have from any white people. Oh. And just simply for calling a lot of this out, I find it incredible that that would be the case. But that is the bottom line in my experience that some of the most racist people towards me have been people of color because they're not happy with me because I'm supposedly a traitor for daring to say that this particular behaviour is unacceptable. And, I, and I'm quite tired of seeing it, really. People need to stop calling things out in terms of colour, try to stop seeing colour in individuals and look at what they're doing. And using a, a, an organisation like Black Lives Matter to cover over when you're doing something bad and I illegal, so fraudulent, um, is, is okay. just quite typical, really. It's clear who her audience appeals to the most. It's clear who she sides with the most. And you know, you get a lot of these black females who are made to be the face for the black community or are put in these type of platforms. You females who find yourself in these type of predicaments, these places, seats, jobs, whatever, you let it get to your head. Black females always think being accepted by other communities means they're seen, means their value is appreciated, they're worthy or highly esteemed. But that's far from what they see you, especially Nana Akuya. What black females don't understand is you being used by these high corporation, political roles, news reporters, even teachers, you know, the reason why you're being used because you are not seen as a threat to their society. Black females and women are not a threat to their society. Do you know who is? The black man. And it's easier to use black females to be against her community, to sell out her community, to sell out her black man and, his, and go against his leadership role. The black female is the weaker vessel. Now, I'm going to tie this to the first video we saw, how Nana for sure got triggered at everything Femi said, which is true and not true at the same time. Yes, they will deport black women and black females, but not as quick as him, because he is and will always be seen as more as a threat than the opposite sex, then the black woman, then the black female. Which is why all these black females sit in these high positions. 
You're nothing but bullets to other communities' guns. To shoot your own. You're being used by other communities to destroy your own black man. Your own black people. Leaving Nana very delusional. She will talk like this because the white community accepted her, praised her, gave her a nice comfortable wage to make and live her life. Whilst the black man is being blackboard in different establishments every day more and more just like your uncle toms you have your mammies who will do anything for their master nana is no different doesn't want to be reminded about who she really is or how she's really seen will do anything to not be black which a lot of black females do which is why he mentioned the wigs. You're not a proud black woman. You don't even love yourself enough to be it. But will fight against your own black man to be a part of the world that only uses you. She doesn't face racism from black people. She doesn't like hearing the truth. Thus being triggered in the first video. No matter how many wigs she wears, no matter how many wigs you all wear, you will never be more than a talking monkey just like the black man. And black females think separating themselves from black men who are abused in society will give them this freedom, but it's an illusion. They think how black men will pull them back and how other communities will raise them up. Once again, it's an illusion. Nothing that man said was a lie. So, and because of that video as well, so many black females also disagreed with his stance and his approach, which is no surprise. Didn't like how her weave is mentioned and it's irrelevant to the conversation. How black men criticize a black woman's image or black females image. And this is what has a lot of black females on a chokehold. Every time the black man wants to tell you about yourself, which is actually very conducive, and it's not always what you want to hear, but it's something that you need to hear and act on, it comes as if it's war onto you when it's just the truth. I'm your hostess, Reminate Princess. These are my last thoughts. What we're seeing is a lot of black females in all these different high position corporate jobs, political roles, as I said earlier, they're all being used by other communities because the real threat to their society is the black man. And by separating the black woman and using her to go against the black man is their way of fighting the black man. But the black female and the black woman is not the real threat. It's the black man. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye.